Here I just want to evaluate the calculate statement. Now as you go about learning Power BI and especially uh, DAX, as soon as you want to do anything advanced, remotely advanced, you're going to get introduced to the calculate statement. It's the only way to do really anything advanced in the DAX formula language. It's always incorporated in there somehow. So you really have to understand how it works. Now, I'm going to tell you where it actually fits in in terms of the calculation sequence that I like to, uh, t that I like to teach people. Now, if calculator is not involved, any result inside of Power BI is calculated in this two-step sequence. The first step is always the evaluation context, which is a filter that might may be a, that would be applied to a calculation, right? And so you see here the evaluation context is different for every single result here. And then the DAX calculation engine breaks out in these into these uh, two branches. One's filter context and one is a row context. Now there are many occasions where you need to change the evaluation context for a result. What Calculate does is exactly that. So you start with evaluation context, but Calculate can jump in straight after that and say, well, I want to actually change the context for this calculation. And then you can still, then and then after that, it then branches out into these into filter or row context, depending on what function you read or, or you write. Let's, let's go through this with an example. So in this example here, right, well, I'm, I'm calculating total quantity sold, but I want to, right next to this, evaluate what the quantity sold was last year for this exact same date. So how do I actually do that? Because the initial evaluation context or the, or the filter that has been applied to this result is the 1st of the 1st 2016. So if I'm to get a result of the 1st of the 1st 2015 right here, based on this context, well then I've got, to do, I've got to do something. I've got to use some sort of function which can change the context or, or the evaluation context of this, um, of this result. And that's exactly what Calculate does. So if I type in here quantity sold LY for last year, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna type in Calculate here. What Calculate does is ask, me, ask you for an expression first of all, and I'm gonna write total quantity sold. I'm gonna go find total quantity sold and then I'm going to add a different filter to the current context of the calculation. And in this case, I'm going to use a time intelligence function called same period last year. And then I'm going to put in the date my dates um, column in there. Now, if I drag this in, you'll see that we get this different result now, right? But you've got to remember that this result, the current evaluation context is the first of the first 2016. So the only way, the only possible way that we are able to get this result is by using Calculate to change the, the, the context of that calculation. And then via these new filters that we entered in here, we could then add some new virtual filters to then go and run the uh, aggregation, the initial aggregation or that, that uh, we wrote through this measure. Let's go through another example and I'll show you uh, and other ways you can use calculate. So if we just, if I just copy this and I'm going to change the context of this calculation, I'm going to go and find my product name. So now we're calculating the total quantity sold via um, per product, right? But now what I want to do is I want to calculate only the quantity sold for a particular region. So let's go select a region. Let's go select a region or a location. So let's choose, let's go state Florida. So I only want to see the, the quantity sold in Florida, right? Now we need to somehow create some additional filters or additional context to actually get that calculation. Again, the only way we can do that is through Calculate because that's exactly what Calculate does. So I'm going to go quantity sold in Florida here. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to write Calculate again and I'm going to say, I'm going to use exactly the same in this uh, function here, total quantity sold, but I'm going to add some additional filters here. So I'm going to add a filter for the location for Auckland, uh, for Florida. 
And so I'm going to type in state here. I'm going to go find state. So I've got state code. And then I'm going to go equals to FL for Florida. And then push enter. Now if I drag that in here, you're going to see that we get a different result. And that's because this is the quantity which is sold in just Florida. So in this example, the evaluation context of product one still exists, but we have added, we have added an additional filter on here virtually by putting it inside a calculate. So calculate can work in a couple of different ways. It can change filters or it can add to your filters to the, the current context, right? So in this case, what we have done is we have totally changed the context we've changed it from 1st of the 1st 2016 to 1st of the 1st 2015 via this same period last year filter that we've put inside of Calculate. But in this case, we've added to the context, the evaluation context. We have used, we've, we've still on product run one here, but, instead, but we've also added a state, the state code of Florida, and that's where we see um, a different result there. We get 18 instead of 75. So those are two main those are the two main ways that you would use calculate. But the purpose of uh, this intro into calculate is that of where it sits in the process of any calculation, right? So you first have the evaluation context and then calculate can jump in the middle there and before you then branch out into um, how a formula is actually calculated via filter or row context. Calculate can change or adjust the current context of any calculation.